Hi everyone, welcome back to the podcast. Kesar is back from his lovely trip. He attended a wedding, so we can all congratulate Kesar. Yes, sir. Yes. It's a very nice experience. Sir. First, yeah. tell everyone where you went. I went to Hubli. Have you been there before? No, sir. Mm-hmm. Where is Hubli? Hubli is uh, in Karnataka, sir. It is 400 kilometers from Bangalore, sir. Mm-hmm. Near to Goa. How is the climate? Kilometers, sir. Very nice, sir. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Without fan, we are roaming, sir. Mm-hmm. Nice, sir. In Chennai, room with fan, is it? Yes, sir. A little hot, sir, here. But the roads are walking on the fan. Sir, no, sir. Not like that. Mm. But there, everywhere it is chill climate, mm. sir. Nice. I had a good trip, but uh, the only part which I got uh, irritated ah. is the travel, sir. 16 hours in train, sir. How is the city, though? Is it clean? Ah, yes, sir. It's very clean, sir. Compared to Chennai, much cleaner. Not like that, sir. No, oh, you're scared. It's equal. Chennai no, sir, no, sir. It's equal. No, sir. <laughs> it's equal only, but the roads were horrible, sir, than Chennai. Very inside horrible, the city sir. of Hubli. Ah, inside the city of Hubli, the roads mm. were was very it crowded? horrible, sir. Not so crowded, sir. That uh, what Hill station, and, uh, up and down, up, ah, and down. up and down. The roads yeah. were not uh, properly done, sir. Hmm. Was all. there any rain there when you were there? No, sir. Just hmm. climate is nice, sir. No nice, rain, sir. Yeah. But climate. How's the food? Yeah, sir. I tried different foods, sir. I told you. I forgot that, sir. Uppattu. Ah, ah, Uppitti, sir. Ah, Uppitti. Uppitti. And uh, some poha. Like the thing I tried, sir. I like that, sir. You liked it? Ah, yes, sir. Two days full non veg, sir. Ah, what non veg do you sir, have? Uh, mutton chops, chicken keema, chicken oh. tikka, mm. uh, tandoori. Sounds uh, yum, man. Ah, yes, sir. How yes, come sir. you did not put anything on Instagram, dude? Sir, I don't like yeah. taking pictures of food, sir. The first uh, picture I posted because uh, my brother uh, wants to post it. So I said, you can post that. Other than that, I don't like posting foods and all, sir. Mm. So what do you like posting? Sir, no, sir. I like posting some stories or that because my mom used to tell that uh, you can't post food items because some of you who follows you cannot afford that so they will feel something that then uh, they'll curse you and you have uh, no sir not cursing they will feel a little bit uh, jealous sir no no sir a little bit sad ah sad little bit sad like Man, he's trying to be so sensitive it's not funny <laughs> sir no no sir i saw people he doesn't so. want to offend anybody <laughs> So, I don't post food, food pictures, sir. So, because our man was on a holiday, enjoying a wedding and eating all kinds of food and enjoying the climate, our boy did not take the book out and bother reading anything. Yes, so, sir. I'm sorry for that. Yeah. But you will yeah. promise to read today? Yes, sir. I will read today. Hmm. But the other thing is, yesterday, Vinod sir helped me. He didn't know he helped me that uh, he posted on story that uh, tell me some things to speak in Beerich. That gave me a good hand. Rocky Ramachandar messaged me like having this question, which I also got to mm. have, which is uh, why rich people buy luxury cars? Is there any tax benefit for them or else they are trying to show the status of them, whether they're buying them? There is no specific tax advantage. You can buy a cheap car and also enjoy the same benefit as luxury car. Okay. Mm. Most of the guys you're talking about who are buying luxury cars are business owners. Business owners. Don't buy the car in their name. They buy it in the company's name. So when they buy it in the company's name, you can claim it as an expense in your Mm. tax. Then there's something known as depreciation. Depreciation Mm. is an accounting term. Mm. That means every year, Mm. certain amount of the value of the product is coming down. Mm -hmm. So they keep removing the value of the product from the balance sheet. And finally, the product will be valued zero. So these are ways of using in tax Mm. to write things into tax. But you can do that with a cheap car also. Mm-hmm. You don't have to buy a uh, 1 crore, 2 crore car to do it. The main reason they're buying 1 crore, 2 crore car is two reasons. Mm. One, like you said, they're competing like how all of us compete. We all have social circles we compete in. Okay. You and me, we do not go buy Lamborghini to compete. Mm-hmm. We'll buy something else. It could be like this steel. Okay. Kambu you're wearing or oh. I'm wearing on cycle chain. Mm. <laughs> so... We all like to stand out from one another. Though okay. we are friends and mm. we're all together, we mm. like to be differentiate from one another. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm. We don't want to create envy like your, rightly your mother told you. Uh-huh. You, know, okay. you don't want to create envy. At the same time, you would like to stand apart from each other. Uh-huh. Understood, sir. It's a kind of a healthy competition mm. between their class. Mm-hmm. Of course, you not being in that group and mm. me not being in that group, we look at them and they go, they're showing off. Mm-hmm. Like there are people who are below us. They look at us thinking, ha, ah, shirt showing off. Watch, showing off. Mm-hmm. Look at his hairstyle, showing off. Understood. For you and me, it's normal. It's normal. Ah, understood. So, you have to understand, in each class, mm. it's considered normal. Mm. It's only when you're outside that fishbowl, you're looking mm. in through that fishbowl. From mm. outside, it looks very different. But when you're swimming inside the fishbowl, that will be normal. You're, you don't see the fishbowl. Mm-hmm. Correct. Right. Sir. So, 
I don't fault him for buying the car. Mm-hmm. So one main reason is, like you said, to differentiate themselves. Mm. Yeah, that is just purely you have disposable income. So uh, the guy's uh, made hundred crores this year. Mm. He can afford to buy a car. Sure. Like this year, let's say he made fifteen lakhs. Mm. Buying a bike, you won't think twice about it. Let's Cars. say uh, your salary this year, end of the year, you manage to make fifteen twenty lakhs salary. Mm. Okay. You won't think twice about buying yourself a motorcycle. Correct, sir. You will think twice only if you're making this whole entire year salary was three lakhs, four lakhs, mm. the entire salary for the year. Then you'll no, think three no. times about buying that bike because you have to buy on an EMI. Mm-hmm. Correct. But in this, the problem is like in all class situations, mm. there are people who aspire, like how you aspire always to move one step ahead of you. Mm. You don't want to go back, mm-hmm. right? You don't want to give up the watch and wear one Titan watch or one whatever watch. Correct. Some two thousand Casio, two thousand, three thousand plastic watch, mm. LED watch with no smartness in it, and mm. uh, walk around in that, and you don't want to go. You feel like you're going down. Mm. You always have this notion moving forward. Uh-huh. It's sold by marketing. Indians didn't have this issue. I would say around twenty, thirty years ago, we didn't have this issue. It wasn't so prevalent. But this class distinction was there, and we constantly wanted to one upmanship. But that has come. Thanks to a lot of influx of advertising, media, and now social media, there's constant pressure on you trying to push yourself a little further. To aspire more than you can afford. Okay. To spend more than you can afford. Mm-hmm. Like how you bought the iPhone. Understood. We'll always go back to that case. Don't worry. Hundred years from now, case of that iPhone, you know. <laughs> You're like, sir, sir, please let it go, sir. Yes, I made one mistake. Sir, understood, sir. Sir, uh, is there any specific reasons that's why? Companies uh, had debts. Some of the companies have so much money, but still like, they didn't clear the debts. You know what the best example for you to understand why companies write off debt like this is Warner Brothers. They very famously this year they made two full movies mm-hmm. finished mm-hmm. production over editing mm-hmm. over there. About to release the movie, they cancelled mm-hmm. it. Bad Girl. You heard about it? No, sir. Okay, there's a movie called Bad Girl which was supposed to come out. Okay. Actors and actresses paid. Mm-hmm. Promotion done. Editing done. Everything done. The movie is about to release and they cancelled it. Where do they do that? It's a write-off. Loss. A lot of studios in India do it. You'll see you know, some guy doing some crappy movies. Mm-hmm. That's why there's so many crappy movies. Because in India, a lot of people need to do write-off. They'll tie one thing which is a loss-making thing. Mm. And they'll tie other things to it, claiming losses on them. Understood, sir. It's like uh, how a ration card. Right now, government of Tamil Nadu saying for ration card, they're giving 6,000 rupees. Mm. Do you think people will say, I need that 6,000 rupees and go? People will be like, hey, they're giving 6,000 rupees. People who I know who live down the road here, who mm. don't need 6,000 rupees, who have two ration cards in their house, so are going telling the servant, you go get the 6,000 mm-hmm. rupees and come. The government is giving free money, man. Correct, sir. Ah, understood, sir. Free. Ah. You get it. Mm-hmm. So, same way, you make something, a vessel to carry mm-hmm. loss, and you can touch that and take profit somewhere else, but claiming that it's part of you and take that loss. They, a lot of people do that when they sell a property. Mm. You'll see them selling at a price lower than they bought it at. You'll be wondering, why is he doing that? Mm-hmm. You'd have bought it for one crore, mm. but he's selling it for 90 lakhs. The 10 lakhs is a loss. Mm-hmm. But he can claim that loss on his tax. So okay. let's say he's made a other income he's got. Mm-hmm. The studio is getting other income, no? Correct. But they'll show this huge loss. And they won't pay tax on the ones that they made profit on. You understood? Oh, ah, yes, yeah, sir. That's a good thing, sir. Yeah. So, oh. a lot of people, that's loopholes. why. Yes, loopholes. These are all legal. There's oh, nothing okay, okay. illegal about okay, it. So, okay. that's why a lot of uh, studios, a lot of rich guys mm. will catch some guy who's a startup guy, mm. you know, unknown director, mm. really stupid story. And they'll be hoping, there's a famous uh, English movie you should go called Producers. Go see it. Mm. And the whole movie is two guys are there. They need to create a play. Mm. Which is going to fail and is going to make losses. Okay. So they'll catch one guy who's an idiot mm. and tell him to write a story. And they'll tell him you write about Adolf Hitler because they'll think definitely mm-hmm. it will fail. Mm-hmm. Nobody will want to go watch mm. Hitler. That too musical about Hitler being nice. So they'll write, but like the trading places, comedy after comedy will keep you happening and the story will become popular and popular and that musical will become a big success. And these guys who have put the money into these producers want a loss. So they'll but be telling him, boss, so. you mm. have to make a loss. Whatever they try to do to make sure it fails, mm-hmm. it becomes more successful. So go see it. Then you'll understand how, why this loss is important. Yes, sir. I will see Okay. It, As a homework, yes, you go producers. see this producers. Okay. Yeah, okay and you come back. Mm. So okay. I think I've explained to you why people who are rich and affluent buy things they don't need. Mm. And also why they incur losses. Why yes, taking a loss is not a bad thing. Mm. When you look at the whole thing in the big picture, mm-hmm. you're only looking at one small thing as a loss. Right? 
but what is coming after the losses yeah what? other way we making profits mm-hmm. so Correct. this loss helps you offset all that profit so you avoid paying tax somewhere else mm-hmm. that's what even famously bankruptcy laws are also about people who are really not bankrupt will declare bankruptcy so they use that loophole also it's legal it's not illegal understood sir okay when you're playing cricket ha huh. you see them no it may be bad sportsmanship mm mm-hmm. Right, like Tata has left a lot of money on the table for the investors. Zimi has to leave. There's no rule saying you must leave money for the investors. It's, true, It's just yeah. etiquette mm-hmm. to leave some money on the table. Most promoters nowadays don't feel like leaving. You will eat up all. Yeah, they're like my money. Mm-hmm. I is my idea. I did all the hard work. I got the venture capitalist. I did everything. So What did you guys it. do? Mm. Now you want to come just to enjoy the party, eh? Huh? They think they're ass. Tatas don't talk like that. They want you to be part of their family. That's why they are. Maybe. Okay. If I say that too many times, then people will say you're only Tata, Tata. All uh-huh. the time I'm saying Tata, 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 Tata. So, thanks for watching the podcast, guys, and we'll see you in the next one soon. And hopefully, Kesar would have finished the next chapter by then. Bye. Thank you.